Hey guys, so to read from or write to a file, we must first create a file object. And the file object contains methods to view file properties. And note that you can't read and write directly from file objects. We'll cover how to do that in the next videos. So the file methods I cover here are just a few of the most important ones. And to get a more complete listing, you can go see the Oracle website. So first, we start by importing the file class. And here we can see our tester class. So when we instantiate the file class, we pass in the first argument as the file we'd like to open. We can check if the file exists, whether we can read write to it, and we can also check if it's a directory. We can check if it's a hidden file, as well as get its name. And we can also see when it was last modified. Now this method returns how many milliseconds has passed since the Unix epoch time, or the beginning of 1970. If the file doesn't exist and was never modified, it will return 0 milliseconds. Lastly, we can see if the file path is absolute or relative. A relative path means that it's relative to the current directory, while an absolute path means that it starts from the root directory. Okay, so to actually run this file class, we type in java file class and then iobasics.txt, which we'll be using as an example. So we can see that the file does exist. It can read and write. It's not a directory and it's not hidden. Uh, you can see its name there and it was last modified during that time. And we can also see that it's a relative path name since it's not an absolute path name. Now go ahead and try running this with a file that doesn't exist and see what you get.